started. To Chicago we go, back to Todd Horwich. Bubba Trading, it's BubbaTrading.com. If you're a new listener, new viewer, check out the website. A lot of great information, buying or selling. If you're a producer or a user of commodities, Todd's got information I think will be helpful. Todd, the livestock trade here, a little bit higher in the cattle and the, in the hog trade so far today. Uh, obviously, I think I like the cattle space here. I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a buyer. I'm, I look for spots to buy. I think any pullback is worth buying. And I was asked an interesting question yesterday Yesterday, if the overall market collapses, what effect should that have on the cattle markets? And I said, probably not a lot. I think we've already accounted for that. You know, if we go back to 08, cattle was at 80, so we're higher now. But I think that overall, it's it's more entitled to be higher. And I think we've probably seen the lows. I don't see a lot of punishment. I see now. Every time we come down is a buying opportunity. I think 110 in the fats of the live cattle is where I want to be an owner right now. I think you look at the you know 136, 137 level and, and the feeders. I look for higher prices here. Now there's gonna it's not gonna be an easy road, and nor do I want to see it spike straight up. I want to see it gradually build momentum to go higher because I think that's where we're going, and I think that's the right spot here now. When you look at it, when you measure from a risk reward standpoint, you're gonna make a hell of a lot more money buying down here than trying to sell down here. And let's see the morale back up. I think we'll have a nice season here as well and I think the hogs you know we talked about this hogs broke pretty hard not really surprising and they're now at another key juncture if they can't hold 82 I think they go below 80 and that, that's the concern that I've had all along we couldn't break them out earlier we see them coming down and I think if they can't hold there I think it's gonna be a, a, a tough slug so 82 is kind of what you're watching in those nearby futures Right, correct, exactly. 82, all right. Well, you made a great point in the grain trade. I think it holds true in livestock as well. Uh, you know, it, it sounds simple, but people have to eat, and the U nobody makes it any better, any better product uh, worldwide than right here, our producers in the U.S. Really, the economy can do what it does, but... Uh, People are going to have to, sooner or later, get to that store and buy that right. meat, poultry, milk, whatever the product might be. And we do I it agree. better here than anywhere else. Todd, thanks for, the, thanks for the tie, and thanks for the input, really, and more importantly, to our viewers and listeners every day. Thanks, Mark. Have a great day. You too. Todd Horowitz, live from Chicago. Real quick, live cattle futures here. The number.